Hi, Ty. How are you? I'm good. Are you at school? No. Oh. Are you at home? Yes. Okay. Um, so we're just going to review the vocabulary we, we learned the last time. Okay. Remember, you did from exclusively to hang out. Yes. So I just want to review this and then we're going to do some new words and then we carry on to reading, okay? Yes. All right, so you can start. Uh, exclusively, uh, solely, completely. David is uh, extensively in stress in computer and spend all his time learning about them okay um yeah do you see that yes okay next one um expert a person with a great deal of knowledge of on a topic i would like to become an expert and for this long it okay i would like to become an expert at foreign languages remember to say the s behind the words languages languages Okay, I would like to become an expert at foreign languages. I would like to become an expert at foreign languages. Very good. Yay. Expert. Okay. Ni. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm great, Tang. And you? No, ah, no complaints this side. It's nice and hot here. Um, can you do the next word for me? Extension. Extension. Each child time to complete a project or to do something. Jim received an extension on his paper from Miss Wood. From Mr. Wood. Very good. Extension. Okay, you guys can stop me if you want me to explain anything else, all right? Yes. Um, Ty? Uh, fit, a great did or accomplishment. It was an amazing piece, piece the team to come from behind to win the game. Okay, so it's not feet that's on the end of your body. It is like winning, defeat. Um, let's see if they will get it. It was an amazing feat for the team. Does it make sense? Do you understand? Yes. Ni, uh, you can do the next one. Focus, to concentrate. You need to focus on your work and not get distracted by watching television. Okay. You all know what focus means. Concentrate, okay. You need to focus on your work and not get distracted by watching television. Um, Ty, forage, forage. Forage, to search for food, particularly vegetation. Many forest animals forage for food or to rule out the year. Do you know what forage means? Yes. Okay. 
Um, knee forecast. Forecast. Um, prediction for the future. The weather forecast. Skies and hot temperatures. Sorry, can you repeat that? The weather forecast is calling for sunny skies and hot temperatures. Uh, repeat the example. Yes, please. The weather forecast is calling for sunny skies and hot temperatures. Very good. Okay, Ty founder. Uh, founder. A person who carries or starts something, then a father is the father of that company. Okay. Ni genius. Genius. A very intelligent person. Even through his genius, he does poorly at school since he is so lazy. Even though, even though he is a genius, he does poorly at school since he is so lazy. Do you understand the word? Yes. Okay, good. Ty, gruesome. Gruesome. Bloody, a uh, horrible. There were a gruesome scene. The lions attacked the zebra. There was a gruesome scene. The roof, some scene when the lion attacked the zebra. Attacked the zebra, yes. Gruesome. Do you understand the word gruesome? Yes. Okay. Last one for you, Ni, of the rev revision. Uh, hang out. To do nothing special at some place. To spend time with others. Many teens like to hang out at the shopping mall and talk to their friends. Okay, very good. Now we're going to do new words. Um, Ni, you can start with mayor. Mayor, the elected leader of a city. No one is sure who is going to win this year race for mayor. To win this year's race for mayor, this year's. Okay. Ty, mistake. Mistake. An error. If you take your work, You should be able to find most of your mistakes. Very good. Um, participate, Ni. Participate. To take part in. Many students like to participate in various clubs after school activities. Okay. Hi, partner. Partner, a person with, uh, with whom one does something together. Thomas and Karen are lab partner in the chemistry class. Very good. Ni, pop test. Pop test, a short test that is given by surprise. Having got a perfect score on the pop test scene, he has started started the martial the material. The he had studied material, the material. Has started the material the night before. Very good. Ty reject. Reject to turn down to say no to. I will reject your offer until you make it better. Unless you make it better. I will reject your offer unless you make it better. Can you repeat that? I will, uh, I will reject your offer unless you make it better. Very good. Uh, Ni remainder. Uh, remainder. 
something that is left over. You can choose which clothes you want from the remainder in the pile over there. Okay, tie remind. Remind to tell a person not to forget something. Please remind me to finish my homework by this evening. Rip me. Rip to the to tear. If you are not careful, you are going to rip your blue jean. Can I select? Hi. Um, select the student need to select a topping for their report by Friday. The students need to select a topic for their reports by Friday. The student need to select students. a topic. The students need to select a topic for their report by Friday. Reports. Reports by Friday. Very good. Ni sponsor. Uh, sponsor to pay money in support of something to support. Many local company have sponsored the school football team. The school's football team. The school's football team. Very good. Last one, Thai structure. 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 A building, an organization. The structure is getting older and is in bad need of repair. Repairs. Repairs. Okay. Are there any words here that you would like me to translate um, or explain better or do you understand all of them? Ty? No. You good? Ni? Yes. Uh, sponsor. Sponsor, okay. Yes, I understand. Okay, so like um, Samsung gives money so that you can buy new uniforms for the football team and then they put their name on the, the football shirt, okay? Or people just give money like a donation, but then they normally require their names to be in the brochure or on the newsletter or something, they want recognition for the sponsor. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Okay, good. Then we can move on to the reading. Okay. Um, so I, I want you to read the this part for me. And then me, um, you can read the the rest, okay? Teacher. Yes. I have finished this uh, exercise. Okay. Um. Ty hasn't done this, but okay. Let's go to the next one then. Um, have you done this as well? Not yet. Okay, so then we'll start with this one. Um, so you read this part? There are a number of natural disasters that can speed across the globe. 
to that are frequently linked to one another are earthquakes and this tsunamis. 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 Both of them can uh, cause a great amount of evacuation when they hit. However, tsunamis are the direct result of earthquakes and cannot happen without them. The earth has remained part. They mantle and the core. The crust is the outer layer of the earth. It's not a single piece of land. Instead, it is comprised of a number of plates. There are few enormous plates and many smaller ones. These plates is essentially essentially, essentially rest upon the mantle which is fluid. As a result, the bullets are in constant yes low motion the places may move away from or toward other places. In some cases they could lie violently with the police adjoining them. The movement of the police cause tension in the rope. Over a long time this tension may build up when it's released an earthquake happen. Okay, are there any words in here that you guys want me to put in the translator? Uh to not miss. Tsunamis. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Anything else? No. Ni? Any words that you want me to? Um, the the word in uh line two. Which one? Uh, line two. That's you um earthquake in tsunami. So you want me to do the frequently linked to one another earthquakes no, and tsunamis? No, the word that you uh, pain yellow. In earthquakes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know? Yes. Do you get earthquakes in Vietnam? Uh, I have heard through earthquake in uh another country. Okay. Yeah, I do, I have not experienced it um myself, but apparently it it can be quite scary depending how how high the um number on the scale is it's called the Richter scale they measure the the strength of the earthquake on that so when it's like a one or a two it's very light but then it can go up to seven which is a very bad earthquake okay you can read the rest of that story for us um tens of thousands of earthquakes happen every year the vast majority are so small that only scientific instruments can perceive them. Others are powerful enough that people can feel them, yet they cause little harm or damage. More powerful earthquakes, however, can cause buildings, bridge, and other structures to collapse to collapse Co collapse 
that may additionally injure and kill thousands of people and might even cause the land to change its appearance. See, most of the Earth's surface is water. Numerous earthquakes happen within beneath the planet's ocean. Underwater, earthquake cause the sea floor to move. This this results in the displacement of water in the ocean. When this occur, a tsunami may form. This is a wave that form on the surface and move in all direction from the place where the earthquake happened. A tsunami moves extremely quickly and can travel thousands of kilometers. As it approaches land, the water near the coast gets sucked out to sea. This causes the tsunami to increase in height. Minutes later, the tsunami arrived. A large tsunami, one more than 10 meters in height, can travel far inland. As is there, as is there that it can flood the land, destroy humans, said settlement and kill large number of people. Very good. Okay. Any words that you want me to translate? Uh, call up in, in line 17. Collapse. Yeah. It just, it falls, it falls apart. The building collapses, so it crumbles, basically. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Um, in life, the word scientific instrument can perceive them. The word perceive? Or? Um, all of them. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Okay, Ty, do you have yes. any words here that you would like me to translate? Oh, uh, no. Okay, then we can move to the exercise. Let me just make this a bit smaller. Okay, so what is the passage mainly about? Um, how earthquakes and tsunamis occur? What kind of damage natural disasters can cause? Why tsunamis are deadlier than earthquakes or when earthquakes are the most likely to happen? What do you think that it's mainly about? If you look at the first paragraph. Do you know, Ty? Us is about not for the other. It's about us. Sorry, I just want to see if I can. 
Why? Okay. A, B, C, or D? I think it's A, a B. Um, and you, Ni? Johnny? Uh, can you make it bigger? What do you think the passage is mostly about? It is definitely about earthquakes and tsunamis. And then what does it explain to us in the rest of the the story? A. Yes, the correct answer is A. You were right, Ty. Your first answer was correct. It is A, how earthquakes and tsunamis occur. Because it's telling us what happens with the earth. It's telling us how they how they get made, if you can call it that. Okay? So the correct answer is how earthquakes and tsunamis occur. Um, number 28. Which of the following statements does paragraph one support? I think is. B. Read that sentence. However, tsunamis are the direct result of earthquakes and cannot happen without them. You still I think it's B? Hmm? Uh, C. Ty? Ach, me? Um, I think it's e. That's the paragraph. So do you think it is A, the most severe type of natural disaster is an earthquake? B, earthquakes cause more destruction than tsunamis? C, a tsunami happens in tandem with an earthquake, or D, earthquakes frequently take place after tsunamis too. A. <clears throat> Ni, you said C. Yes. Yeah, the correct answer is C. Tsunamis are the direct result. So tsunamis happen after earthquakes, not earthquakes after tsunamis. 
and it doesn't say anything about the destruction or the severe type. It's in the rest of the paragraph. It says that on paragraph one, they are concentrating on this. Okay. Do you understand? Ty? Yes. Okay. In line six, ni, the word it refers to. In line six, the word it refers to. The crust. Yes, very good. The answer is C. Okay. Um, Ty, in line 11, the word adjoining is closest in meaning to. Um. Do you want me to put it in the... is a adjoining uh. what do you think if the See. plates are close to each other they will collide. They will collide violently with the plates, adjoining them. So it means that it's very close to it. So for another word for adjoining, what do you think? Let me do this. Approaching boring design. Which one do you think it is? Adjoining. Mm -hmm. I think mm. it's B. B. Yes, it is B, bordering. Well done. Good job. Okay. Now I'm going to have to go out like this again. Let's make it one page. Which of the following is true regarding the crust? Gianni? Can you go down to the question for me? And you are up. So let's find the crust. This is the crust. It's the outer layer of earth. It's not a single piece of land. Instead, it is comprised of a number of plates. There are a few enormous plates and many smaller ones. So is it the smallest? 
No. Okay. These plates essentially rest upon the mantle, which is fluid. As a result, the plates are in constant yet slow motion. The plates may move away from or toward other plates. Does it say, does it anyway say that it is thicker on land than water? Did, did you read that no. anyway? No. It doesn't say thicker on land than water. Does it say it anywhere? Um, um, it doesn't say many the separate pieces that make it up. As a D. The word comprised, Pardon? the word comprised, it is comprised of a number of plates. Ah. Uh, is it D? D. Yes, D. D for donkey. Yeah. Yes, it is the correct answer. Very good. It's made up of many separate pieces. Ty? Uh, I think it's... In line 14, the word perceive... A. B. Which one? B. B for baby. They take them. It is the correct answer. Can you see the meaning there? Yes. Okay. Ni, which of the following is not mentioned in paragraph three about earthquakes? Paragraph three. Okay. Can you move to the question yeah. for me? I'm going to put um, 